This guy right here, Antonio Brown, is an absolute moron. G'day guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. Another video, I saw this tweet online about Antonio Brown had a podcast with some bloke talking about Hall of Fame status, all those kind of things. Antonio Brown is so far-fetched, beyond gone, whatever, he, he, he doesn't even know what he's thinking. Antonio Brown the other day tried to sue himself. AB said, I want to sue AB. Now I got this jersey, uh, color rush jersey, jersey. Back in, uh, I think it was their first Color Rush game, 20, what was it 2016 or 20, 2017? No, 2016, Christmas Day, Steelers versus Ravens, Antonio Brown, immaculate uh, extension, right? We all know that. We, know, we all know that. And, and Antonio Brown was a great receiver. Yes, he was. But with comments like this kind of stuff you see on the internet, I won't be too long. I want to spend too much time on Antonio Brown. I just want to call him a moron. He says here, I'm going down. I'm going down with the Steelers. I got more stats on Heinz Ward and receiving yards. So when it's time for me to retire, I go back to Pittsburgh, who drafted me in 2010. I don't want you. I, I if if the if the bloody if the the darn Hall of Fame committee selects Antonio Brown over Heinz Ward, we're going to have a big problem. That means I'm talking. It's not you. You don't just, you don't just base everything off stats. It should be based off character. You know, how you played the game, what you did in the community, you know, even after the game too. Antonio Brown, the last time we saw him on a field was walking off the field for the Bucks through his jersey in the stands. What kind of character is that? So we all know he's a massive moron. But um, he, here's a big problem I have with Antonio Brown. He says, yeah, I do it faster, bro. He got some good stats. He got some yards, but he can't F with me. He can't even wear my jock strap. Yeah, Heinz Ward, my stepson. He's a baby. He's a baby white. Many, I'm constipated. I'm still essing on him, and I have to deal with more adversity, more criticism. I'm letting you know what guy I got to deal with when he's been so great. Heinz Ward can't f with me. What kind of stealer, true stealer, calls it another stealer like that? Antonio Brown. I hope you never, never make the Hall of Fame, and you shouldn't. There's no way the selectors should choose you to go to the Hall of Fame. You've lost your marbles. You're completely gone. If you follow him on Twitter or X, however you want to pronounce it, whatever it may be, it's still the same stupid, stupid Antonio Brown. He's lost it. I used to have such such respect for him as a, as a receiver, as a person in the league, and he's lost his marbles completely. He's so just gone. He's gone with, he's, he's off with the fairies, as we would say, in Australia. And now you're dogging and calling out Heinz Ward one of the best Pittsburgh Steelers players to ever play the game, who played with integrity, honor, strength, physicality, a true Pittsburgh Steeler. You've got Heinz Ward on one side and the other guy, Antonio Brown, who's an absolute loony case. So my my thing is, yeah, you're just a, a, an absolute loser. An absolute loser is Antonio Brown. I, I really hope that he doesn't get chosen. He, apparently, he can, he can have a chance to be in 2027 because he retired a few years ago. But Antonio Brown is an absolute loof. Uh, we all know this. And yeah, these kind of comments calling out Heinz Ward make no sense. You got One steal is going to call it the other and call him a baby and all this kind of crap. Mate, he's got to grow up. He's got the money. He's got the money. Antonio Brown has all the money in the world. However, he has no sense. <laughs> 